you know it has letters you can see. So you must be aware of that so that we use procedures in the nuclear. Okay, we encourage development. It's a very good thing. We create employment and we really encourage those kind of uh, investments in our county. Uh, as much as we are doing that, we need to follow procedures in the protocols that is required. Uh, and also make sure that they can be uh, while we are doing that. So that is why I wanted you to be alive to that fact. And in Sierra County, what we have as a public land is very minimal. Most of the land is a community land. And uh, as you know, community land is a pastoralist community that has been moving around for some time. And now there is a new act that came in force. specific in how you can acquire public land through community land, there should be some process to be followed. And it's quite a rigorous process. So so I think on the aspect of land, yes we do have land, but it's also we need to know what size of land you're looking at as a port authority. If it is grow and infrastructure comes in place, there will be a lot of opportunities which will open up. Uh, in terms of compensation, we've got um, you know, I think, I think you mentioned about, we went through the same process for Lamu. You know, Lamu had uh, similar uh, challenges because the land was a community. But you also needed a vast land of land because for a port, it's not like a license. You have the port and then you need a very place where people you need, you need a place for vehicles to move out, you know, the whole place where you have storage or something. So it's a big, you need a huge. Yeah. Yeah. But then the community engaged them, we bought land, we pay compensation with people, even farmers, you know, fishermen there. Because the moment you're doing the deed in the, in the, the whole construction, yeah. the, the fish disappear yeah. and all those things, you know. So, so we are the same compensation. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's a challenge that we are really alive to. Yeah, so it's not a challenge. I think we can, we can be able to, we can, we can some work together. Uh, in terms of compensation, I don't know what's the, around the, about land compensation. How much does that make a work for you? Values. Mm. I think that depends with the place, the place mm. and the time. Because mm. if an acre was 10,000 or 100,000 or 1 million yesterday, mm. automatically it, we, we expect it to appreciate. Mm. The only thing though, that don't de depreciate mm. is land. Mm. So that only depends with mm. where mm. and when. Mm. Yeah. So and also to add on him, mm. it's, called, uh, it's not like these are not built up areas mm. whereby. Uh, building on a road like uh, yes, yeah. yes. this is a bit a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So you'll be compensating grazing land, trees, animals mm -hmm. and the people who are living there. Okay. So I think I think that one is you. No, yeah. we have done a planning. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. We have uh, we have like I said in my, you see there is a road going up. Mm -hmm. When you're coming when you come to the road going this way. There's a so there's a bigger effort done by the national government mm -hmm. which we want to functionalize very soon. Now that's where we want to have all the special economic zone. Mm -hmm. So even in our urban economic plan, which we have prepared, probably we share with you, mm -hmm. you see that area we identified as a special economic zone. So it's good to have where there is a light industry mm -hmm. to also have the ICT mm -hmm. Because, uh, um, and that being a public land, I think uh, acquisition is not a big issue. Yeah. One thing I'd like to say is that we don't. Uh, we thought uh, uh, the land is that something like that immediately comes up, then uh, other industries are actually set up shop around the facility. So if at all we have to have a location, then it has to also have room for expansion. Because if you look at a situation where you have a hundred uh, million in property, as you say, and then you also take into account southern Sudan, so all this traffic coming through, maybe in the future, uh, 10, 20 years down the line, we are envisioning something that will expand to serve the regional uh, uh, market. So basically, we have to take that into account. Yes, it can be enough for starters, but then what about the future? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are very pleased. I was always hoping one day that uh, uh, situation will come up because of the importance Isiolo is gaining because of its uh, strategic uh, geographical position. Yeah or other location mm -hmm. and uh, obviously you know uh, now the 
81 billion World Bank uh, uh, loan to construct Isiolo Mandera Road uh, is now at advanced stage uh, and uh, Isiolo Moyale heading all the way to Adisababa is uh, complete already and working very very well it has opened up that area and uh, Lamu Isiolo also uh, we are hoping it will be able to start uh, soon but you can already see uh, we are gaining uh, a very critical importance as a, a hub for this uh, plan of government to open up the north. It's always playing a very, very uh, central role. And uh, the idea now of having an inland con container depot or uh, some inland uh, uh, a KPA facility there is 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 most welcome, and it's it's time now has come, and it has significance, and it it is it it is most welcome even by ourselves as leaders. So in a very short brief, I would like to say very much welcome, and uh, that idea we support it very much, and we will work with you and support it uh, to make sure that your landing is as smooth as possible. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And once again, welcome to Isiolo. I think your visit is uh, really, really appreciated, by the way. That's why I brought even the government on board. And you have seen the way it's excited about the whole thing. Because uh, the way, way Isiolo is heading, I think, we are seeing in the next five to ten years, this will become one of the biggest cities in this country. Maybe even if no second half in the So uh, we have seen the infrastructure development which is starting across the county and the uh, big things are really coming up. And they are actually uh, you are coming and doing the assessment is very timely and actually you know business business organization. To look far where the opportunities you know are because from all uh, you know factors you are looking at from all dimensions you are looking at then i don't think you have any other option other than recommending uh, dry port to be set up in isiolo county and you have we have already told you the governor has already spoken uh, he has told you that uh, already we have you know economic zone which we have established uh, around here and that could be also your area where maybe where you are going to put up your, uh, your dry pot. Kwa majina ni Peter Thuku, natoka kashirika la KPA kule Mombasa. Tumekuja katika ikaunti yenye nzuri ku kuangalia mahali ambapo maybe tunaweza tukashirikiana katika ku, kuweka ki, hii mahali ya ku, ya ku clear, uh, mizigo na ambapo tunaangalia ni kwamba tunaweza kuweka, ku, ku, kuweka uh, mahali ya ku clear mizigo ambayo yatumika ya katika sekanda hii na pia kuelekea katika eneo la Ethiopia so ni ni opportunity nzuri but uh, uh, wakati huu kitu ambacho tunataka sana ni ku ni kuweza kupata ushirikiano kwa county na wa, na, wa, na wananchi ambao wanakaa sehemu hii ili wakati tuna, tunapotoa ile ripoti yetu kusema hii county iko tayari kwa kwa maendeleo tunaweza kusema pia watu wa, wa sehemu hii pia wanaichangia na wanataka hii hii mradi ufanyike mradi huu ni, ni, ni mkubwa sana wakati waka, tuna miradi kama hii miwili mitatu Kenya ya kwanza iko Mombasa ambayo ni poti yenyewe ya pili iko Nairobi na ya tatu iko naivasha so ikiwezekana hapa ituweza kuiweka ICD itakuwa mradi wa nne katika Kenya, Kenya hii na ni mradi ambao ni mkubwa ni mradi ambao waleta maendeleo ni mradi ambao pia waweza kuleta um, industries because inaf, inafanya inarahisisha ile gharama ya, ku, ya kutumia port uh, kutoka kwa serikali ya county uh, kuna vitu vitatu vi, 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 ambazo tuwatarajia cha kwanza ni 
uh, mahali ambapo tutaweza kuiweka ardhi ambayo ni ambayo iko katika karibu na barabara ambayo itakuwa karibu na reli hiyo ni ya kwanza ya pili tunahitaji ile ushirikiano mwema kuhakikisha kwamba tunaweza tukafanya kazi pamoja na county because hii project ni ya ni ya wananchi na pia ni ya ni wafanyabiashara na ya tatu ambao tunataka kufanya kazi nao sana ni, ni wananchi ambao wako katika sehemu hii ambao ni ambao watakuwa wa, ambao watafaidika zaidi kwa mradi wenyewe ukifaulu uh, kwa hao machache asante sana